What's up, SBSers? Nick, I am behind the camera tonight, and of course we have our the Larry handling the duties in front of the camera as we head into the uh, building here. But what are we doing tonight, Larry? Tonight we are in Minneapolis, Minnesota, hanging out with the fantastic folks at Halston Entertainment. This is an institution here in this market. They've been around, I think, almost as long as I have, so 40 plus years, which is really awesome. This is a fantastic retailer. Custom audio video, projections, installation, a little bit of everything. And tonight we have a big show in store for you. And we have wild turkeys running around outside. So it took off that way. It was blocking traffic. It was pretty awesome. I don't think I've ever seen a turkey that large in person that wasn't on my grill. And he wasn't scared of us at all. Uh, but I have to apologize in advance if you get any video choppiness. You know, we're doing the best we can. We got the strongest Wi-Fi signal we possibly could. And I'm getting used to this gimbal here. So if I'm a little bit jerky, then... Uh, You'll just have to deal with it because, uh, you know, I'm the one holding the camera. We are amateurs at everything we do. That's right. So, so I'm going to practice here a little bit. But thank you, everyone, for tuning in. Uh, as you know, we are still going to be doing four giveaways tonight. As we do our demos uh, inside, we'll be announcing those giveaways. I'll kind of be whispering into the camera. Um, feel free to, to mock me if, uh, oh, if, if I trip or if I fall down or whatever. But uh, <laughs> we're going to head into the store now and uh, go around and show you the different experience zones. But... Uh, Different format, like we did a couple uh, weeks ago at Nebraska Furniture Mart in Dallas. Uh, we're not going to be doing the sort of sit-down Q&A. We'll try to get to some of your questions, but yeah. here we go. Yeah, so we're going to walk you inside of Halston's. If you had smell o vision you would smell this amazing aroma of popcorn and Mexican food that's going on tonight. So uh, come on in. So welcome to Halston Entertainment in Minneapolis, Minnesota. So let me hold the door here for a few people that are coming. And I'll get the door for you. Thanks, sir. sir. So there we go. Welcome. To so tonight we are doing speakers and subwoofers unleashed. We are going to be showcasing a lot of different experiences for you all, and we've got a few more, a little more than a hundred people here right now so far. So it's going to be a great experience. There's a little sign in for the giveaways right there, and uh, we'll be kicking off the live event in about ten minutes. So uh, we'll do a little quick tour and show you our first experience zone, and I think this is the first time we've really like shown this product that's behind me. So if you come on this way, this is the front foyer when you walk into the store. They're showing off the really cool frame TV with sound bars. Uh, they've got a really awesome projection set up over here to your right as well. And uh, we'll be hanging out up here in a little bit. Mr. Ken Cadis, our director of sales, is going to be hanging out in this zone. And this is our two-channel wireless experience. And so once again, bear with us on the camera work. We're getting used to this camera. <laughs> Behind it's salty me already, huh? This is the first time I've been able to say anything about this product on camera. But Ken is going to be over here showcasing the new Prime Wireless Pro powered bookshelf and the SoundBase Pro two channel amplifier. So later today, Nick will do a little bit more walking around and let you see this product. Uh, we're really close and really excited to have this coming your way very, very soon. I might not, so let's get it right oh, now. Yeah, yeah, after we get our. Uh... A big system. So estimated time for these is early November. So the wait is almost over. I promise you that. And we'll be uh, dialing in our little 3000 micro subwoofer over here. So this is our two channel wireless hi-fi zone yeah, right there. And that subwoofer, we can feel clear across the store. It's uh, actually pretty amazing to see that. So you want to go down the dark hallway or through? Let's, Let's go, go right through, through, right through the action. This is where they set up and they do watching parties for football games and baseball games and all kinds of fun stuff. Too. Hey, that's Ben. So ben, this this man hi? has been the MVP of the show. Anything you see hanging from the ceiling, any of the architectural work, he has been hard doing this stuff yeah. since the uh, early we yesterday. We're really thankful because I got here late yesterday and I didn't have to do any work because this gentleman right here did it all. For so us. if you come to Halston's, you'll expect to see Ben here and uh, he will take excellent care of you. Anything you want to share with the SBS community, Ben? Thanks for joining us this evening, and uh, hope you enjoy the show. It's going to be fun. There's yes. a lot of good things wait. happening. I'm so excited to be back out here. So I'm going to try to not fall down these stairs. So Let's take a here you can see this is their main entrance way. It's got a really cool vintage. Wow, you're close. Really cool vintage popcorn machine here, sort of like and a dedicated high-end projection movie theater system in here. And I don't know what's in here, but it sounds awesome. It's a bit dark, but they got the starry sky up. It looks like a little Top Gun action here. But this would be the like ultimate premium home theater experience that they have uh, shown off in this room well, right here. Well, you get that with SVS too. This is a full in-wall system. All right, we'll work our way over this way. So throughout the store, it's all set up like a home, like a living room experience. 
And so back here, they've got vignettes with various brands like Klipsch, Kef, other brands that uh, you can all partake in. So you can see the, the big vintage sets back here from Clips. And they're also a big BDI uh, sales. They have uh, AV furniture, BDI AV furniture is some of the best you can get. Very functional for your AV receivers and your components. I would definitely check it out. So we'll shift our way over here. Here's some of the giveaways we're going to do tonight if you want to show that. This is for our we're gonna kick out in-person live giveaway. We have a 3000 micro subwoofer, a prime bookshelf 5.1.2 system with the uh, 1000 Pro, as well as a bunch of accessories, plaques, and other good stuff as well. You can see they have every TV that you could possibly want here, from small screens to outdoor, to the really awesome 100 inch plus Sony screen. The in walls, you can see our PV 4000 is hiding back over here. So this is an in wall setup, and as we know, in walls are not the best at producing bass, so you get a little PV 4000, PV 16 action here to match up with your in walls. Can't go wrong with that. And then, uh, the pan. And then over here is our next experience. So we are doing a uh, little bit smaller system that uh, we're going to do for our flagship system. But over in this corner, we are showing brand new Denon 3800 receiver with a Prime 5.1 system. That is the Prime bookshelves, Prime center channel, Prime satellites mounted on the wall behind us, and an SB1000 Pro subwoofer to bring it all together there. So this will be part of our second experience zone uh, after we do our main interactions, I guess, and the big demos on the big 5.2.2 uh, system. Part of the, uh, the philosophy we have here is to show off a couple different flavors of SVS. So we get the two-channel sort of stereo setup at the front with our Prime Wireless Pro. This is a more compact, I would say, uh, a little bit more affordable 5.1 system. And we're about to get to the big system in a second, but we got a couple more things to show you. It's an under $2,000 5.1 system, which is pretty hard to find right now with that fulfillment story. And back here, they got some of their uh, cool closeouts and stuff like that. I don't know if we need to go that route. You're catching everybody eating. Sorry, you're on camera eating. Everyone loves to be filmed while they're eating. Five million people watching. Yeah, that's right. We're going to turn into a meme. Yes, and then over here... This is just static. I, I've yes. already had a bunch of people ask, we're going to play this thing tonight, right? Mm, it's a mixture of ported and sealed, and you know how we feel about right. that. But it's quite a spectacle. I mean, it's come cool on. To see. This, this is one of the few stores in the country you can go and see pretty much everything we make. So if there's something you want to come in here and listen to, you just got to tell Ben or Mike or any of the guys, and they can absolutely hook something up for you to listen to. So, so we got our SP3000. We got the PB2000 Pro. We got the PB1000 Pro. And then we got some ultra surrounds down there, SP1000 white gloss, SP16, and then of course the PB16. And then one of the few dealers in the country who actually puts a PC4000 cylinder subwoofer on their main floor. What's not to love about that? Four feet tall. Super cool. So, and uh, back over here, this is their two channel listening space. We'll just let you see it. It's got a bunch of different brands set up over here bookshelves, towers, a little bit of everything. You just sit in this awesome chair here and just kind of spin around based on what you want to listen to. So, hey, I know that guy. Yeah. He's here in person, too. All right. I think we're ready to take you over to our big experience zone. So it's a little loud, so I'm going to talk a little bit about it right here and we'll introduce you to it. So back behind this wall, we are doing a 5.2.2. Sorry, 5.2.4. I gotta use to say it. It's our biggest system ever that we've shown at one of our uh, experiences. We're doing prime pinnacle towers up front, ultra center channel, two SB16s anchoring the front stage. Behind you, we're gonna do a pair of prime towers, and then we have two pairs of prime elevation, one in the front and one kind of middle rear setup for this amazing experience. You can hear Hans Zimmer happening behind me, so I think we're gonna head that way now and let Nick walk. Let's around. check out the spread they put out yeah, too, because uh, I think people are. Getting a lot of things. See, we already got a, a great crowd assembling here. Uh, I'm going to quickly show off here. This comes from a uh, local uh, bakery and uh, food place called the French Meadow. You can see, we got guac and fruit and sandwiches and chicken wings. And uh, little known fact that uh, Truly is actually a Minnesota based company. And so uh, we got some Trulies here. We have some local brews as well. And uh, the lovely Katie, who's serving it up right. 612 Brew, Hazy IPA. So 612, that's the name of the brewery that's uh, nearby? 612 Brew, North 
Check it out if you're if you're local. Clearly, we're, we're doing some damage on this food there, and we have some more in the back. So, all right, I'm gonna walk you through this system real quick. We're gonna give out in just a second. We're uh, just got Nick over here on the camera. I'm Larry. Gary and Ken are here too, and the Halston team. We're just uh, finishing up the opening of our Facebook broadcast and kick things up. Let's see. You can see here we got the Prime Pinnacle Towers, one SB16 Ultra, Ultra Center Channel, another SB16 Ultra. Another prime pinnacle tower, and then directly up above you is our first set of prime elevation height effect speakers. So these are set up as front heights, and then up above in the ceiling, you will see. Test, test my gimbal skills here. There we go. Not bad. Oh, there it is. Oh, there it is. There it is. Another pair of prime elevations set up as rear height effects, and then back behind all these uh, fine human beings, uh, we have a pair of prime towers for our surround. So. I think with that, we're about ready to kick it off, and I've got to get a demo queued up, so uh, we'll see you back in a minute. Let's go see if we can find Gary. Gary was right in this vicinity. So, I mean, you guys ready? I want it. So, i got to find my colleague, Ken. There he is. Hey, you want to say hi to Facebook before hey we guys. officially roll out? Welcome. We're about to start. Yep, yep. Let me find Ken. And we are going to do our best to actually have uh, some questions answered tonight. We're going to be uh, sort of working behind the scenes, sending questions to each other to, uh, to try to get some of that answered. There are some ladies here, just so we're clear. Oh, sorry, practicing my gimbal skills. Hang, hang with us. We're about to get started. Remember, just say, Ken Cadis, our U.S. Director of Sales. So we're all really excited to have you guys and gals out here with us tonight. And we'll kick things off in just a minute. There's still a few people trying to work their way in, and then We'll get rolling. So, uh, hope you're ready. So, everybody say hi to Facebook and YouTube and yeah, Flickr people. and hey. I don't know what else. Hey. If you told someone you're supposed to be somewhere else, that's right. Say, if you have, have any warrants, you might want to cover your face. Uh, you are on camera live. So, yeah. there's about 7 million people watching right now. Not really. But, uh, so, we get a lot of people watching tonight. We do have giveaways tonight. So, if you happen to miss the raffle table on the way in, make sure you go up there and fill that out real quick. Uh, we'll explain more of that here in a little bit. I am just killing time, kind of watching for Gary. We're going to get things going. Thank you all for being here. We'll get loud here. Yeah. Can I say anything else? Hi, everybody. I think, so. what time, are we ready for a giveaway? i got to find Ken here. Yeah, 615. Let's do, uh, let's do a giveaway. All right, Vince, if you're listening, text Larry the giveaway name, yeah. first giveaway, and what it is. So, those of you at home, we are doing a few giveaways. I don't know what they are because I didn't see the email but we got four giveaways for you all tonight on Facebook and YouTube. And then we've also got some giveaways for the fine people that are hanging out with us tonight. So let's see. Nothing yet. All right. That's all right. I Ken, my Ken wife is MIA. Text, uh, there's a, a wild turkey outside. Probably a good 25-pound, 30-pound turkey walking around outside. And I was sending my wife pictures of it. Uh, oh, wait. He sent me the text. You want to read right. the first one? Oh, so, here we go. All right. We got our first giveaway of the night. It is a pair of prime bookshelf speakers. And this is going to Mr. Greg Lee. And I don't know if that's Facebook or YouTube, but congrats, sir. And uh, I hope you enjoy. All right. We'll do another giveaway as we start up our uh, next demo. I'll uh, get run here. off to the side. He's, he's right there straight ahead behind you. Straight ahead. He's coming. How many of you have never been here before? Awesome. All right. Uh, I see Gary and uh, Mark walking this way. Mark is going to kick it off. All right. Everybody? Mark right, Halston. Here we are. This is the Halston in Halston. Thank you all for being here tonight. And thanks to our friends from SPF for helping us walk another awesome event. Come on in and see where you're going. This is the president of SPF. And for Mark, thank you so much. We are so happy to be here. I really want to thank uh, Mark and the team from Halston awesome Entertainment. 
entertainment for hosting this. They did a phenomenal job. What, what about this amazing, yeah. Good. Yeah. this amazing yeah. store, one of the most professional um, retail and integration teams in the country. So we're honored to be here, honored, honored with the partnership. We do have longevity in our favor. <laughs> for Speak for yourself. Uh, yeah. Wait, how long was that? Yeah. 24 years. Wow. Ooh, a long time. Okay, I have one question for you all. What is MEA and why is this the worst possible day to do this? <laughs> <laughs> Tell me what MEA is, please. Folks, come on a little closer. I'm Gary Yacoubi, I'm the president right, of SDS. I will not bite. We want you guys to get a great demo. Come yeah, closer, cool. closer, yeah. closer. Come on. Jeez, all right. This is, yeah. we're suspending. Yeah. Intimate night. We're suspending for the first time in two and a half years all social distancing. Woo! Because we want you guys. Yeah. We want, well, no, this is not a political statement. <laughs> <laughs> great. We want you guys to have a wonderful time tonight. And I'm going to stop talking because this is about a celebration of the possibilities of great sound, great experiences in your living space, in your home. And there's no better way to do that, Larry, is there? Getting loud. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Then a demo. So I'm going to quiet down. We're going to do a demo, and then we'll talk about it afterwards. Cool. Sound? Yeah. Oh, I should say, I'm Gary. I'm president of SDS. Larry Magoo, our national training manager. Nick Brown, our esteemed vice president esteemed. of marketing. Esteemed. And Ooh. Ken Cadis, my my dear old friend, our director of U.S. sales. This is the crack. This is the crack. Uh, SVS event team. We do it all, right? Yes, for sure. But no crack. <laughs> so coming back on, it, Larry. Want to yeah. kick off this demo? All right. Should I say? All right. So we're gonna do a 5.2.4 Dolby Atmos DTSX demo for you all right now. We are gonna play the track Cymatics. So this is, if you could see what music sounded like and vice versa, that's what this is. The film we are about to see has no characters. If you spare a little of your imagination, the effect of cymatic frequencies on matter.
let that go a little longer than normal because it looked like you all were enjoying that. Which is this? Yeah. Tonight is all about a celebration of the Sabbath, and um, let's talk about what this what this experience was. Larry's going to break down the parts, but first I want to talk a little bit more spiritually about what a home theater is, uh, or, or a two-channel system. We'll start um, with the home theater tonight, and then we'll move into two-channel. Um, but before I do that, let's talk a little bit about tonight's event. T uh, we're, we're targeting a couple of hours. Um, We'll do this part first. And by the way, this is the first time I've seen an event where there's a separate section for the people who came with the people who want to be here. <laughs> there's a whole separate section back there of people who don't want to be here, but they're having a good time on their own. So, yeah, very fun. Fun. <laughs> That's a first for me. Um, Stay care over there. So uh, we're, we're going to have this maybe, what, 40, 45 minutes with you guys. We're going to do some demos in this main system. I'm going to try to do my best to explain uh, home theater and maybe a little bit about SBS, but it's, we're not really trying to do an SBS infomercial. I always say that. Just want to celebrate great sound and maybe we fit into that world. And um, then we'll break off. We've got two uh, other what we call experience zones. We have a, a, a smaller home theater back over that way, and we have our all new Prime Wireless Pro smart wireless ecosystem, smart powered wired speak, wireless speakers, and also smart powered wireless integrated amplifier that's demoing two channel over in that corner of the store. So after my and Larry, am I not talking loud enough? I'm gonna yell. After my and, and, and Larry and Nick's 45 minutes with you guys as one group, we'll break off into these um, separate uh, groups. I'll stay here for anyone who wants to ask questions. I'll be here to answer any questions y'all might have. Then we're going to regroup, come back together around, what, 10 of 8-ish, and we're going to do the drawing for the grand prize, which is Larry what? It is a 5.1.2 surround sound system. Essentially what all these showcasing across the way. So seven speakers what and brand is it? <laughs> <laughs> uh, and then uh, we've got a couple other smaller prizes we're also giving away a micro subwoofer for tonight too and everybody that's watching on facebook and youtube and instagram and Flickr and hello insta face and our, whatever it's called world uh they'll have a chance to win some stuff too they're getting so they have they have their own giveaway so thanks for joining us no double dipping away. though if i see some people on their phones yeah, watching yeah. it actually you can okay and we know the demos are kind of hard to hear but you know, you'll hear us speaking. They didn't get the food, though. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. They got to see it. They didn't get the popcorn. Yeah. You didn't get the food. And you didn't get this beautiful Minnesota weather. It's just yeah. beautiful. I'm going to stop saying it's cold. It felt cold to me, but I'm, I'm, I'm told by many people it's that amazing. I'm very wrong. I always like to ask. It's not wet. From Maryland. Where, yeah. Where this would be well, on that note, I want to know who traveled the furthest here. Okay, that's good. Anybody from out of state? Out of staters? Anyone? Okay. Where are you from? Wisconsin. Wisconsin. All right, good. Oh, no. oh, there's no, we're all here no. for great sound. Don't, don't, don't hurt the cheese man. That's right. Probably a Packer fan. <laughs> all right, we're here for sound. Yeah. All good. Well, thank you for don't joining us from Wisconsin. Right now no, hide. Now, now go hide in the corner. Okay. So home theater. What is home theater? Anybody want to take a stab at it? By the way, if you have questions. You can't interrupt my flow because as Larry and Nick will tell you, I have no questions. So, so feel free to ask questions, interrupt. But let me ask you a question. What is a home theater? And I want it from a spiritual place. We're going to define the parts for you. What is it? What is it in here? Who has a home theater? A lot of them. Oh, my gosh. This is not a good selling opportunity. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yes, upgrades. So what is a, that's true. What is a home theater? Love. Okay, I, I love that because I want to I want to like a spiritual answer. To the question. How about, I would have one. Yeah. Okay. 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 So that's actually submersive. Great. Love it. So so to pull. Okay. So let's pull that all together. To me, it's a place in your home that could be a dedicated area, or maybe it's not. Maybe you don't have a home that supports a dedicated area. Maybe it's a den or a living room or a basement where you can create an experience where you literally can surrender yourself to it. Do what we call suspend your disbelief. Suspend your disbelief and really believe what you're experiencing, both visually 
and in, as, in terms of the emotional aspect of it, sonically, is really happening. And you know, if you work hard all day and you have you have a place like that to go to, maybe that's where the L word, love. Somebody said love from back there. I I do. It's something I look forward to. My wife and I go down. I was telling somebody. He's like, how am I going to explain to my wife that I'm bringing uh, a new subwoofer? And to me, it's like. My wife is my partner in crime. She's like, when are we going to upgrade this? It's, it's because it's because we do it together. We're partners in it. And that, that's my recommendation. But it's also something we look forward to. So how do we do that? This is where, Larry, maybe you can help explain what we just did here, what we, how we did what we just did. So what you listened to was what we call a 5.2.4 surround sound system. And that probably means nothing to a lot of you. But what that is, you know, most of you are familiar with the conventional 5.1 surround sound system, which includes a pair of front speakers, which are for really everything that's kind of happening in front of you on the stage, things moving left to right, stereo imaging and music. So are you saying they create a sound stage that literally makes it feel as though things are happening from a specific point in space corresponding to what they see on screen? Did you experience that with the demo that we did, even in this admittedly very challenged space? Yeah. yeah, and then behind me, let me get out of the way, is our center channel. This is the ultra center channel, it's our flagship center channel. And that's where 90% of the content that happens on the screen is coming from that. It's the most important speaker in your system. So dialogue when you're watching a movie, could be something when you're listening to a concert, a lot of the vocalization would come from there. When you're watching the news, that's what makes everything easier to discern. Then behind you, you can't really see them, but they're just under the, the fake plants up there down on the ground are our prime towers, which we have set up as rear surround speakers. And that's where you'll typically get a lot of the background music, but also effects from the movie, gunshots, explosions, give you cars, a sense yes. of, give, Sorry, I didn't mean to speak over you, my bad. Um, give you a sense of place. So the three in the front, they're helping you understand what's going on on screen and feel like it's really happening. The speakers in the rear, the surround speakers, they can be side surround and back surround. They can have a combination of those or just have one pair of surround speakers. Those are giving you that sense of place. Now I'm somewhere where all this is taking place. And then the energy you were feeling from the base is coming from these two subwoofers that are up here on the other side. It's our sealed. Did you all know SPS makes subwoofers? <laughs> <laughs> and surprise, this is the first time we've ever done a demo like this where we've used sealed subwoofers. And it's kind of blowing us away. We're taking on this entire store uh, store with two sealed subwoofers. Normally, we use our larger ported subs for this event. So that's where the energy, the, full, the low frequency, the punch you in the chest type bass that you got from that cool demo was part of it. So we're gonna we've got what, some more. Well, fun what, what is? Let's let's ask. What is a subwoofer? It's a, it's a purpose built speaker designed to only create bass. Now, what I would say is. If you're doing a home theater experience, a movie or some a really cool streaming TV show, three quarters of the emotional impact, the connection you, you feel to what you're experiencing comes from what? Some that you can't even hear. I was going to say from the sound. And then I was going to fish back to subs. <laughs> I would say the subwoofer is maybe half of what makes the sound so emotionally impactful. And yes, you're exactly right. Part of it is sound that you can hear, and part of it is sound. Every SVS subwoofer delivers sound below the threshold of audibility, meaning it's so deep, the bass cannot be heard by the human ear. So why would you want that? Feel it, feel it. Yeah. Yeah. Because you can feel it. And that is the final reinforcement, sound-wise, of feeling like you're there with the action. And Larry, are you going to talk about the yeah. height effects? And then, many of you, I was kind of enjoying watching this, you all kind of turning your head and looking around because you heard things coming from up above you. So about a decade ago, there was a technology introduced called Dolby Atmos. And what that brought to the home and also to movie theaters was what's considered object-based surround sound, where they can place things up and around you. So above you on the kind of middle of the demo, we have a pair of our prime elevation speakers. And then behind me up on the walls, we have another pair of prime elevations. And they are set up to deliver the objects so that they sound like they're not just directly coming from above you, but in the middle of the room, behind you, around you. And we've got a few more demos coming up that'll really showcase that too. 
and it's really awesome to bring to your home. It's probably one of the best upgrades to a home cinema outside of moving from a Blu-ray up to 4K, and it really changes that experience. All right, so to bring it back to the um, the basics, Larry said 5.2.2, and it could be 7.2.2. So let me count for you. There's the two front left and right speakers. That's two of them. There's the center channel speaker. That's three of them. Two surround speakers, that would be five. So there's the five. Sometimes you have two pairs of surround speakers, two on the side and two on the rear. That would be seven. So that would be either a 7.2.2 or a 5.2.2, right? So what comes after the first point is the subwoofer. So in this case, we have two subwoofers, and that's the 5.2. And then the point two, the final point two, is because we have a pair of height effect speakers. And again, we have Larry, four, Gary. Don't forget the front. So it's actually 5.2. That's .4. right. Oh, my bad. I'm sorry. I said that the, then we're also running with the, uh, the, the front, a single receiver. That's right. So we got that running, those two running, and then surround speakers oh, behind you. Okay. Nine speakers, two subs. And, and we're, so we're creating. We're, we're trying to create a space here where you're literally having three-dimensional things occurring at a specific three-dimensional point in space. Because we have the height effects, we can literally create sound that is three-dimensional, not just on a single horizontal plane. And that hopefully was part of why it was so believable, right? Okay. And this is all running off of a Marantz receiver. This is a brand new, they just got this in this morning. Today. Yeah. Literally today, it's a, they're brand new design, so I would encourage people to take a look. This is an SVS event, but it, it's worth mentioning that that's brand new. Right, no, and it's cool. And I mean, all this is operating off of one home theater component. So that does bring me to, you know, maybe you want to ask, and I, I promise we, we're, we're all about great sound. We think you'll come around to us at some point if we get you excited about great sound. Where does SVS fit into all this? Well, our mission is to bring great sound to as many people as possible. So by do, we do that by trying to create reference experiences that are within financial reach of a normal person, um, but still reference, still state of the art. Um, and you'll see that if you look at what we do. Um, is there any more to say about that? I, I think a good do, chance for questions demo, before we fire yeah. up the next demo. Any questions about music demo setup right or? Yeah, I mean, if, does anyone have any questions about home theater? Subwoofers. They just want to hear it. Okay. All right. For my I want to hear it, right? For my live audience, I'm going to come over here. I'm going to do the next giveaway and answer a couple of these questions that have been coming in. So let's uh, let's scoop. Sorry about that. Uh, we'll scoot over here for a hot minute, and uh, it's a little bit more quiet over here. We'll, we'll let you look at the fireplace while we answer these. All right. So our next giveaway is of a – oh, yeah, this is a much better backdrop over here. I don't know what I'm thinking. There you go. So our next giveaway is a SB1000 Pro subwoofer. And the winner of the SP1000 Pro is Jerry Whiteside. Congratulations, Jerry Whiteside. You got yourself a new sub. We'll get your information. All right. I got a few questions here I'm going to ask uh, or I'm going to answer. Uh, Dave John asks, is the new Prime Marlis Pro powered bookshelf, does it have a sub out? The answer is an emphatic yes. Of course it has a sub out. We are SVS. We want to make sure you have the opportunity to pump the bass through a little bit more than, uh, than just the speakers. But I will say... Uh, relative to the originals and, and to any other products of their size, those little prime wireless powered bookshelf speakers have incredible low frequency output. So uh, you may want to just try them out at home first before you upgrade with the sub. Uh, ooh, I can hear some police there in the background. All right, give me another second here. I'm looking for a, another question here. All right, Brady DeVille asks, he has an older SVS cylinder sub. Is there a way to update the amp to the newer style so he can have the EQ benefits of the app? If it's a 13 Ultra, then yes, we actually have an amplifier upgrade program for our 13 Ultra subwoofers. So that is absolutely uh, something that you can do to, uh, to get a little bit more uh, output from them, but also all those DSP benefits of the 50 megahertz analog devices DSP chipset in there that allows you to do all those parametric EQ, polarity room gain, all those fine tune adjustments through the app. Uh, that is possible if you have a 13 Ultra cylinder. And if you don't, just call our team and we'll, uh, we'll work with you to try to figure something out. Uh, Chris Studebaker asks, how long did it take to set up each one of these demo areas? That's a great question. Uh, if you were watching earlier, you might have met Ben 
from the team. He did so much work before we even got here in terms of unboxing everything and getting it set up. You saw those elevation speakers on the ceiling. He mounted those. So typically it would take us the better part of a day. Uh, and it took us most of yesterday to do all the fine tuning. But today we just got to enjoy sort of calibrating and uh, putting all the fine uh, finer touches together to make sure that people are going to have a good time. Uh, but typically it takes about a day and a half to get everything all set up, unboxed and ready to go. Uh, how do you get an invite to one of these demos TJ Gross has? Well, first, you have to live in the area, uh, but this is a free event. So if you pay attention to our Facebook or you pay attention to our social media, get our newsletter, uh, that's going to be the best way to hear about these kind of experiences that we have uh, going on throughout the country. So we don't have another one planned. Oh, no, we do have another one planned for Arizona on December 7th, Wednesday, December 7th, at a partner called Star Power. Uh, I'll drop that name again, and we'll have links and everything going out for that soon. Uh, but that will be our next event, December 7th. Uh, all right. VJ Bola asks, uh, he has a 5.1 and he wants to know how he can figure out where to put his acoustic panels. Uh, that's something that really just depends on your room. So I would get in touch with our sound experts. There's uh, measurement software, various other tools you can use to figure out the best place to put bass traps. Oh, I'm just answering the question. Oh, I'm sorry. Go ahead, walk right through. It's fine. You're good. You're not going to bother me. Um, so yeah, get in touch with our sound experts. There's uh, there's a lot of resources online, but it's hard to say just off the cuff in a in a you know 30 second answer how to actually do that. TJ Ross asks, what's the 0.4 mean in a 5.2.4? .2 Those are the height effect speakers. If you have a a third number as part of a system, then that 0.4 is going to be uh, what the height effects, uh, how many Atmos speakers that you have. In this case, we have two in the front, two directly overhead. So that's the 0.4. Uh, Jeffrey Fry asks, is nine surrounds that much of a gain over seven? Well, that's a pretty big room. I think at that point you must have be living in a movie theater. So I would say no. And if you're just going straight surrounds, like at ear level, at some point you want to start adding height effects. So I would definitely go for more height effect speakers. If you're actually thinking of, uh, of adding more surrounds and you don't have Dolby Atmos height effect speakers, start bringing those into the equation uh, before you just add more surrounds. Because at some point, again, your room is only so big, you're going to have a pretty dense sound field at that point. So uh, that would be my recommendation. So there's a couple questions we've got to answer there. I'm going to head back over to the demo area. We've got a little bit more of the presentation to do, and then we'll get to another giveaway here in another minute or two. Uh, so, oh, Bola asks again, why would we need elevation speakers when you have Atmos speakers? Uh, they're essentially the same thing. I mean, our prime elevation can be used as surrounds, uh, side or rear surrounds, uh, but they basically serve as uh, Atmos speakers as well. So you could really use them in, in either configuration. Uh, all right, it sounds like the music stopped. So I'm going to get back over there now. Uh, Ken, you take your phone back. We'll do our giveaway here in another minute. Hi. Let's see if I can sneak through over here. Pardon me, sorry. Gentlemen, mind if I squeeze through here? Yeah, thank you. Anyway. Appreciate that. But, uh, you know, we're trying to bring in 200 people to this experience. Right. How about it, Gary? Well, that's also a trademark. What makes a great subwoofer is partially how deep it goes, how much output it's capable of, but then to, to your point, it needs to be accurate, it needs to be quick, it needs to keep up with the content, which, which we try to show with the Cymatics demo, where there's lots of moments where it, it hits and then it goes away. And this demo, I think, is really cool because uh, Stuart Copeland, the drummer of the police, he's drumming all these different uh, timbered timpanies and different things like that. And um, you can hear the different timbres thanks to the subwoofer defining the notes. So, and that brings me to a point. And you know, I, Nick, I don't know, you're filming me, so I don't know if you're gonna be able to help with-, with um, Can hand off here. SBS. Oh, you want me to do this? One of the, one okay. of our, Go for our beliefs at SBS- If the camera work sucks, I apologize. We're trying to reimagine the idea of audio file. So before we get into defining what an audio file used to be um, and what we think it could be. Do you think that police uh, snippet that Larry played was an audio file experience? No. Thoughts? No. Uh, Why do you I say don't. no? Um, 
it wasn't it wasn't emotional. It wasn't engaging for me. Okay. So it didn't pull me in. Didn't pull you in. So Do people agree with I him. Think, uh, I agree. I agree. I agree. Yeah. It wasn't very much dynamics that I would like to see more. So you want more dynamics? Yes. That's more in the recording than it is. Hey, you got, that's yeah, also yeah. a live experience. When you go to a live concert, you're getting punched by those subs that are on the stage too. Who enjoyed that police gun? Oh, I did. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I enjoyed it. Did. So, but but it wasn't an audio. Problem. It's more fun. I uh, brought in. It's a different experience than as an audio file. So you feel, in. just so I understand, you feel that it wasn't an audio file experience. Some things are, and some things aren't. Is that fair to say? Sure. I mean, so I'm going to blow well, that up. Right. I'm going to blow that something. up. If I don't do a good job of it, then I failed and I'm going to have to go home with my tail between my legs. <laughs> um, because if you enjoyed it, then why wouldn't it have been an audio file experience? But let's, let's take a minute and, and let's define our terms. Because maybe not everybody knows what an audio file is. So let me ask you some questions. I need a little help from you guys. An audio file. In the traditional understanding of what an audio file is, is an audio file more likely to be male or female? Yeah. Male. 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 Okay. All right. Um, is that male more likely to be older or younger? Older. 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 And now Nick makes me ask it a certain way. What what is the what is the way? Because it's like I'm not allowed to ask it. Are you filtering me? Are they? He filter, no, he filters me. Oh okay, yeah. Okay. Are they generally at work? Nick filters me, and at home, well, I guess. Do they generally have a smaller budget or a larger? Do they budget? generally have their hobby. That's it. Does the audio file have a smaller budget or a larger budget? It doesn't matter. Yeah. It's it's irrelevant. Well, well but, you know, <laughs> that's how they come around. Larger. Come on. Yeah. Let's Relative be real here. Hobby, Let's course. be real. Size doesn't matter. That's another that's a, another oh, okay. uh, so so the traditional understanding of an audio file is they have lots of money to spend, they're male, and they're old. Tradition. Would that be fair to say? Okay. So that old person who spent a lot of money on their system, they're enjoying that system with many family and friends in the room with them. All who are allowed to control no. it and adjust it. No, everyone's saying, just for the people at home, everyone's shaking their head no. no. What, what are they, what, what exactly are they doing? They're sitting. Where are they sitting? Where are they? Right in the middle. Right where he was. He's in the sweet spot. Right between the speakers. And he's having a semi religious experience. And everybody else in the house is doing what? Running tears. What are they? You say who cares what they're doing? What are they thinking about what you're doing? I don't know. I soundproofed my room. It doesn't matter. Seriously. They already know. All right, look, here's, here's, the thing. More money. here's the thing. Here's what's wrong with the audio world. Right? I believe, and Nick and Nick and I are very much in, um, aligned on this. And and I and I'm not really trying to say, if you enjoyed that experience, which you're kind of saying you did, maybe you don't like the police. I'm not doing the police anymore, Larry. You're right. <laughs> you should have done the other I one. tried to tell him not to, but, just so you guys know. But um, if you enjoyed that experience, then do we have to say, well, it's not this. It's not this, it's not this, it can only be this. Which is a lot of what audiophile mentality is. It's kind of this elitist, it must be this, it cannot be this. And we're all about upgrading the sonic experience that you have available to you, regardless of the content. It could be what, Nick? I mean, I come Nick calls the, it the modern audiophile. I, I have this term, the modern audiophile, and we go to a lot of... Uh, Hi-fi shows and, and different audio shows, and we get a great mix of people. And I like to ask people, you know, what are you enjoying on your system? And, and almost everyone loves music. But then we'll have some people who come in, and I watch action movies, and I play video games, and my kids play video games. And I guess where we're coming from is this: we want to broaden that definition of audiophile beyond sort of that myopic definition that we just sort of all work together to get to the endpoint on, and make it be a little bit more inclusive. Because for a very long time. 
people were scared to go into the forums. They were scared to tell people because there's this judgment you feel where it's like, oh, if I have a den on and I don't have, you know, a parasound, then they're going to say, oh, well, your power's not clean or it's not providing the right amount of food for your sport. Or you don't hear the difference between that cable and that cable? It's like, then you must not be an audio here. And, and, and there's something <laughs> wrong with that that level of judgment to be able to like i'm just trying to get into this hobby and my budget is 500 dollars. what's the best i can get for 500 dollars? and i feel like that's a person that we want to entertain and that's somebody that we should all try to embrace because guess what they are going to grow into the hobby this is a progression you know a lot of people maybe here have hit their end game system but we all get a case of upgrade itis once in a while where it's like, yeah, I can squeak a little more out of that, a little more out of this. And that's what makes this fun, you know, tweaking to the point of getting to that ultimate what, level. What about guys like me who have spent the last 22 years sculpting the system? You got the end game. You know, you got it. Here. Not yet. I'm no, you, <laughs> we're, we're you never know, at the all end. All yeah. We're saying, yeah. All we're saying is let's let other people in the club room. That's right. That's it. And let's, yeah. let's, we're, because we're very, you know, just to say, we're very accepted in the audiophile world. Prime Wireless Pro that you're going to hopefully experience over there just won the ISO award. That's 60 audiophile magazines all around the world said that's the best wireless speaker on the planet. And so, and we're, uh, uh, you know, we have a, a $1,100 subwoofer that's stereophile class A component, meaning it's the best there is. Right there on the same list with a twelve thousand dollars subwoofer. So we're all about those people. The difference is that I believe, and I think Nick agrees with me, a lot of the audio industry is predicated on a belief that no one cares about great sound anymore, and that um, there's this very narrow slice of humanity that does, and we'll just go ahead and sell them lots and lots of expensive gear. And we actually don't agree. Now, I went to, I was, I was telling somebody this, I went to um, a stadium concert for the first time in a long time. I saw uh, uh, Red Hot Chili Peppers at Nationals Park in D.C. And um, what I found so brilliant about it, they're a wonderful live band, if anyone's had a chance to see them, but what I found so brilliant about it, well, you saw them too, you saw them at Fenway Park. Um, the commitment to great sound that they had for 43,000 people was totally amazing to me. And I think people were absolutely swept up by the immersiveness of it. But nobody's telling those folks, hey, you can have a totally immersive experience in your own living space. And that's a lot of what we're about. And that's what we think the modern audio file should be. So is that okay? Are we, are we, are we aligned well, I think on that's that? that's good. I think one Ooh. thing you missed with the quote unquote audio file if you log with the age and such is their hearing rolls not about 12k. Isn't that ironic? <laughs> Isn't that ironic? <laughs> it's, it's, gentlemen, for people who didn't hear that, you know, the, the typical speaker brand, they're, sorry to talk marketing speak, their core demographic is men 55 and older. And his point was, that's when hearing starts to go. Oh, yeah, right. <laughs> oh, yeah, right. Interesting <laughs> and ironic. But you know what? Um, we think everyone deserves a great sound experience. And we're going to share those with you in the other room. But we're going to do another one over here. Yeah, we got another demonstration All here. Right. That I see, in the spirit of Halloween. I want to see, yes. see my skeptics. Let's not do the let's not do the Halloween one. Let's do Ghostbusters. Let's, Ghostbusters. No, let's first do, I want to show, let's first do the <laughs> one you wanted to do. Let's do um, the showman. The greatest showman. Oh, okay. <laughs> Got him excited. You thought he said it was Annabelle, which is our horror demonstration, but we'll do that. We'll do that over there. Uh, but we, we're gonna do. It's creepy. It's no. Too creepy for the movie like this. <laughs> All right. So this might fit the more traditional well, audio file demo. Based on what what you guys were asking for, you wanted to be brought drawn in. You wanted to have things immerse you in the experience. emotion. And we're gonna give you. You want to be into the we're gonna, gonna deliver. I owe you guys a giveaway. Give me another second here. Where's Ken? Ken, I owe the people a giveaway here online. Next giveaway. You got me queued up? Yes. Sorry, thanks, folks. All right, we gotta get this backdrop here. Sorry. All right, next giveaway. We have a pair of Prime Elevation speakers. Congratulations, Mr. Stephen Schilling. Stephen Schilling, 
we got some prime elevations coming your way. And uh, I don't know, what time is it? Ooh, we got five more minutes. We might go a little bit over as we wrap up in the big system here. Uh, hopefully none of you guys mind there, but uh, we'll get to the, the last giveaway here in just a minute or two. I'll come back up on you. All right, you saw that? Right, I did. Do you need me to give it to you again? Uh, probably not. Oh, okay. So I'm just, just using you as a door if that's cool. Yeah, cue this up here. Yeah. <laughs> And if you got questions, because I thought this was cute. I'm curious to see who you're going to put on. He's going to do it. Listen, we want to, I, I, you, you've, got, you've got my uh, my competitive spirit up. I want to uh -oh. show you a more, a more gentle audio file demo and see if we can bring you guys in. While he's queuing it up, does anybody have any questions? I had one question. Sure. So do you have an ultra center? Has to be a good question because there's only one. <laughs> Go ahead. Is the ultra center always the same when you make uh, incremental updates throughout its lifespan? That's a really good question. The answer is we make the product, we work for years to get the product perfect, and then we don't make changes. We don't want people to feel that they're getting left behind. So when we do a head and play, that's so what I got you, Larry. It's all right. We're good at tap dancing. Oh, yeah. Just got to get it. Trying to see if you got get any it? questions. Yeah. Okay. Yes, I know this is a repeat. You guys can throw some shade on us, but this is what they asked for. Take that out of your depth. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do not. I'm afraid to ask. I'm afraid. I'm afraid to, like, I've got peer pressure. <laughs> if you haven't seen the movie, that's that's the emotion. That's everything coming together right there. And if you will give that movie a shot, The Greatest Showman, phenomenal. And that scene is what puts you right in. Like you, you gentlemen were talking about earlier, the emotional draw. And that's it right there. Everything We're going to head over here. We're going to do our final giveaway. Thank you for tuning in a few extra minutes. Uh, oh, I lost my Ken here. Let's see if uh, I can find him. One second. I think we got one more demo left. you are, Ken. Last one. I just want to make sure I read it right. Before we All right. Final giveaway of the evening is an SB2000 Pro subwoofer with a SVS SoundPath subwoofer cable. And the winner of that is Roger Brimmer. Congratulations, Roger Brimmer. You got yourself an SB2000 Pro. We'll get your info and send that out. Uh, just for a little extra housekeeping, we are going to be having another one of these events in Arizona at a wonderful retailer called Star Power uh, out in the Phoenix, Scottsdale area. So that will be happening Wednesday, December 7th. We'll have a couple of uh, audiophile happy hours before then as well uh, that we'll do from a more traditional. And guess what? My home theater is almost done too. So hopefully I'll have a new backdrop coming with you very soon. But I appreciate all of you tuning in tonight. Hopefully uh, the camera work wasn't too bad and uh, the audio came through okay. I know it was a little bit quiet, but uh, again, thanks everyone for the comments, the energy, the excitement. Uh, we're having a blast here and uh, we look forward to catching up down the road. Happy listening.